Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Stay until the end of the video for a free gift card giveaway! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to TechWave. While plenty of airplanes are designed primarily focusing on functionality and safety, there is another category of experimental aircraft which fascinates also with the weird and extraordinary design. Most of these aircrafts are developed just from a simple sketch to something that really flies and proves that some principles of aerodynamic science. Enjoy watching and admiring the unique looking aircrafts of all time. Number 1. Stipa Caproni The Flying Barrel an experimental Italian aircraft with a barrel-shaped fuselage was designed by Luigi Stipa and built by the Caproni factory in Italy. After its first flight in 1932, the airplane became the first ducted fan aircraft in the world. Unusual design provided stability, but an enormous size fuselage created so much additional drag. Number 2. The Horton Ho 229 Airplane Because it was designed with the purpose of making it more difficult to detect by radar, the Horton Ho 229 plane has a flat disc-like shape and started as a German fighter-bomber plane late in World War II. Unfortunately, it only flew as a prototype and therefore never actually made it to war. However, it is an impressive plane because it can carry two 30mm MK-108 cannons with ease. With a wingspan of more than 55 feet, the Horton Ho 229 plane accommodates one crew person and is more than 24 feet long. It can climb at 4,300 feet per minute and can fly at speeds of more than 600 miles per hour. Miles per hour, and its ceiling was estimated at 15,000 meters, which is about 50,000 feet. Horton 229 was a truly a marvel attempt in every way imaginable. Number three, Gulfstream G500. This private business jet, announced alongside its sister ship, the G600, in fall 2014. Features fly-by-wire active side stick that provides visual and tactical feedback for the flight crew. Technology previously available only for military aircraft. This feedback through the flight control stick allows both the pilot and the co-pilot to track and feel the controls of each other and the autopilot. Flight instruments are brilliantly displayed by Honeywell's Symmetry Flight Deck. There are 10 touchscreen controllers providing pilots with a tremendous amount of flight information. The integrated touchscreens will give crew access to system controls, flight management and communications, checklists, and monitoring weather and flight information. A new wing design manufactured in-house at Gulfstream for the first time provides increased performance and passenger comfort. The G500 made its maiden flight earlier in 2015, demonstrating an unprecedented level of technology not only delivering a more fuel-efficient, fast aircraft, but improvements in safety as well. Developed active control side sticks, touchscreens, data concentration networks, but not just primary aircraft systems, but also the interior we're going to meet or exceed our customers' expectations. Number 4. Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird Although the Blackbird last flew in 1999, it still holds the world record for the fastest air-breathing manned airplane in history, which it first achieved in 1976. That mark has stood for nearly 40 years, and there doesn't seem to be a challenger rising anytime soon. The Blackbird's basic stealth characteristics and ability to operate at ridiculous speeds and altitudes allow the SR-71 to perform dangerous reconnaissance missions if the plane were ever in danger by a surface-to-air missile. Standard protocol was to accelerate and outrace any threat. The void that the Blackbird's retirement created has many wondering what new machine can match the sheer brilliance of the SR-71's design and capabilities. Rumors surrounding the development of the SR-72 have circulated for nearly a decade, but most recently Lockheed Martin has won a government contract to study the feasibility of building a propulsion system capable of Mach 7 for the Blackbird's successor. Sadly, the shift towards stealthy and lethal unmanned aerial airplanes may replace the need for such a complex and costly aircraft with the proposed SR-72. Eight engines big enough to power the Queen Mary launch its 140,000 pound body to the edge of space. Number 5. Northrop Tacit Blue Airplane Instead of a rounded shape like most commercial airlines today, the Northrop Tacit Blue had a more rectangular shape and only one of them was ever built. It was developed by the U.S. Air Force in 1982, and at the time, it was considered some of the best technology on the planet. The Air Force wanted a low observable surveillance aircraft that likely wouldn't be intercepted by radar, and therefore could be successful near the front lines of battle with a high likelihood that it would survive. The Tacit Blue had several nicknames, including the Alien School Bus and the Whale, and it had grossed a weight of 30,000 pounds. Its maximum flying speed reached 290 miles per hour, and it was over 50 feet long. It is currently housed at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force near Dayton, Ohio. The hundreds of Northrop Grumman employees, subcontractors, and customers who dedicated many years to this program. Number 6. The Pregnant Guppy Airplane With its bloated look and fish-like appearance, it's easy to see how the aircraft got its nickname. Only one Pregnant Guppy was ever built. 
but it flew for over 15 years from 1962 to 1977. It is a very large, wide-bodied cargo plane that was used most frequently by NASA to transport components of the Apollo mission program. The pregnant guppy did a great job of ferrying many other outsized cargo items, not just those needed to be transported by NASA, and it even inspired other airplanes into existence. Most notably, the Boeing Dreamlifter and the jet-powered Airbus Beluga airplanes. It was built by Aerospace Lines and had a maximum loaded weight capacity of 441,000 pounds and a maximum flying speed of 320 miles per hour. Number 7, the Spruce Goose Airplane. This plane is officially called the Hughes H-4 Hercules and was built by the Hughes Aircraft Company. Built during World War II out of wood because of the shortage of wartime materials such as aluminum, it was nicknamed the Spruce Goose and flew only once in the year 1947. It was built to carry 700 passengers and it was the largest flying transport ever built. With a wingspan that was longer than a football field, the Spruce Goose was actually a flying boat and could hold up to 150,000 pounds total, including two 30-ton M4 Sherman tanks. It was also known to some as a flying lumber yard, and today it sits in the Evergreen Aviation Museum in McMinnville, Oregon. Smile ...showing the world's biggest and most controversial plane flying and landing. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.